How you doing? This is Minister Paul. It's 3.56 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time on July 22nd, 2012. I'm going to be doing a, uh, a layout of uh, where, uh, Sacramento, California, the, the Golden State here, to give you an idea of uh, where my uh, second dream occurred. And then we're going to go into uh, four dreams I had, two two I had and two my wife had. Just wanted to show you, like, this is News 10. I've mentioned them, and I actually have videos of them, like, trying to run me over in real life. And then there's also, like, a mosque down here. You won't find any churches down here, oddly enough, but you'll, you'll find a mosque. I was just looking at it, kind of surprised me. Um, none of this stuff is is uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Here's a cemetery. I'm just being led by the spirit to to just put this on a map. Because it, I think it's all going to fall into place in my dream. There's a bunch of mosques down here. Um, I, I lived and worked in this area for 25 years. This is the heart of downtown Sacramento. Um, I'm going to just take you for a quick tour. We're heading west here. Um, there's a Lincoln Law School. They've offered me a job for about 10 years here. We're looking for Q, uh, Capitol Mall and Q Street. Mansion Flats. Let me show you this area here. Take a look at this. This is where they will want to raise taxes to build the old Arco Arena. Kevin Johnson, the mayor, Sacramento. This is a hot mess right here. It, I mean, this is what it looks like. And they want to spend $68 million to clean up and build an arena here. And here's a water treatment plant. And there's this really new weird device. Take a look at this. Nobody really knows what it is. It leaves this odd looking water treatment plant. And, and, and it almost looks like a spaceship. Does that not look like something a spaceship would land on? And, and this, wow, it took me to a street view of it. it. Nobody really knows why it's there. I'm telling you the truth. Um... It, it goes out over the river, and, and and then it becomes a building that, as far as I know, is private property. There's security all over this. When you drive by it, it looks like a spaceship. Is that, uh, so to just take a look at what I'm showing you here, and then this thing goes out. But yeah, this new spaceship thing hasn't been here this long. I call it the spaceship thing. Nobody really knows what it is. It, for Somehow this is related to this, all of this. And then if you come up here, you're going to find the Governor's Inn, Sacramento Police Department. Do you remember my dream about the zombie? We were talking about how th this is actually kind of where I took my, uh, uh, I actually went through the Sacramento uh, Police, uh, it's called Peace Officer Standards and Training, by going through the police department. It's back here. It's no longer here anymore. This was all just Sacramento Police Academy stuff. They've since moved it. Everything's brand new. That's the thing. D downtown is, they're just spending money like rainwater while everybody else goes broke. This is a brand new police department. It used to be an old rundown building over here, and they claim they don't have any resources. But um, over here is a federal, this is all federal stuff. See that you could just exit off this main freeway here. If, if you go this way, this is five north. If you go five north, you could head be to my house in a half hour. Um, this is the check this out. This is the federal bankruptcy court. There, all, there's, there's just look how tall it is. I mean, there, it's just full of basically federal departments. Uh, there's also a federal jail there. The Unabomber was there. I don't know if he's still there or not. 
This is the Sacramento Sheriff Department. Remember how I told you it's different between the Sacramento Sheriff and the Sacramento Police? Um, this is, look at this brand new jail with all the solar panels on the top. This is called CJ. That's what I call it. Uh, county Jail. This is where that zombie guy is. They stand out here and try to get your attention on the streets. Um, SHRA, that's interesting. Sacramento Housing and Redevelopment Association has a brand new building too. I've uh, risked my life for them for two years working some very rough parts of actually where that uh, look. NAACP, I'm just taking a look. I kind of like this Google Earth. Here's the DA's office. Parkings and, oh, I, uh, thank you, Holy Spirit. There's a brand new, uh, what I really don't like is they just put, look at this. They added this Church of Saint Scientology on the main street. Um, let's see if I could find it. I, I, it's, it's on this street. It's a Church of Scientology. Let me go out a little bit. Did you guys catch that? It's right here. Uh, Tom Cruise. Um, it, it's right near all these federal things. So just back to my dream here. This, this right here, this they weren't building that that they were they had acquired all these funds from the federal government to to pretend to be building a sports complex here, but they weren't. You know what they were building? A holding center for pe for people who refused to accept the mark of the beast. That's right there. Um, there's a network of state buildings I actually used to work in. Um, see, I kind of get lost in this map. The best way I know how to do it is put in the address. So you saw all the law enforcement buildings and how close together they are and how some are federal, some are city, and some are county. And you saw the White House, uh, the Capitol and the West Steps right here. This is the Capitol right here. This is the West Steps. If you ever hear about a protest on the West Steps of the Capitol, that would be right here. It's where they protest everything. This is actually where I wanted to have my parade, and I only got like five people interested. This is the the police will literally pay to block this whole area off. For just if you see anything that that rings a bell in your head, that you think, uh, you know, related to my dreams, I'm I'm open to suggestions. What, what they do is like you can have the uh, the Lance Armstrong they all wear yellow when they come biking through here and the or the Susan B Coleman's race for the cure they all wear pink they literally would shut this whole entire downtown here's Department of Health Services they're related to my dream of the mark of the beast they will shut this whole downtown uh, emergency medical services I'm just taking things in um, they will literally shut things down okay I got to uh, for for here's another Muslim mosque and I, I don't please Muslims don't take offense I, these just weren't see the little crescent moon symbol wasn't there before the, it's a star and a crescent moon that's three there they weren't there before. Okay, so this this right here, this network of freeways, there's four of them. There's one here. I'll pan out a little bit. There's one here. And then if, if you go up, uh, I'm not going to do it, but if you go up west here, there's another one and another one. There's four. And, you know, it, it really makes it hard to navigate. And you see here, it, 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 here's another one. Is that the same one? There's another one down here, too. I saw. Here's a cemetery. All of this is related. I don't want to get a thumbs down on the Muslim mosque. I just, uh, I just think it's somehow related to my dream. Look, here's the Islamic Center, and then the Scientology. So anyway, here, if you go uh, 80 west over this river, uh, that's actually the Sacramento River. 
in 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 less than an hour and a half you can be in San Francisco if you go west here in an hour and a half you can be in Lake Tahoe if you go up to the other one that I was talking about in about two hours you can be in Reno Nevada near where that meteor fell if you go south right here you can be in Bakersfield and Fresno and uh, all the way down to uh, as, as far till it runs out as far as I know to the end of uh, California here's a DMV uh, if you go five south right here where I'm going in about an hour uh, or in about a month you can be in LA so five south to LA if you go five north I mean it's really a network they call this the the split and they call this one down here the Y you with me so if I look at this South River Road. We've had a really serious crime problem here, and uh, I believe I know why now, uh, and I'll explain that in part two. So I just wanted to give you a layout of my dream. That's X. So let's go to P and start focusing on this is Rayleigh Field where they play baseball. Here's Q. Right here, you see this? Sorry for my math skills. Um, this, I worked at this building right here in real life for eight years as a director of security. I made a lot of money, a lot of money. It's actually where I met my wife. Um, we've been together 17 years. Since, since uh, 92, uh, they've recently bought all of this. It was private property. Look at this is a security and investigative services where you got to get your permits if you want to do any type of private security or armed security or get a gun permit or anything. This is all run by the state. And, and then this building right here, and then this is an overflow parking. Everything is access in and access out. You're on camera. For a four block area, this building is two blocks long. I want you to take note of that. It runs from P to Q, that's one block, and then from fifth to third. This is a massive building. I believe almost 2,000 people just work in this one building alone, all state workers mostly. They have both private security, state security and uh, city and county police come in and out to check on their retirement so in my dream so so you get the layout of this this building in, in real life not in, I'm showing you real life stuff and then we're gonna go into my dream take a look at this what is that that's the vital records it's a birth index of everybody in California and this is uh, an investment. This is where they have, they're worth like $200 billion and their money's all over the world. They've bought this whole area. They literally own like eight square blocks. I'm not kidding you. And they can all wirelessly transmit and talk to each other. And everything's run by access control cards. And it's heavily guarded by security. How do I know this? Because I worked there. When I worked there, when I left in 98, they were figuring out this was all private property and they bought this little parking lot. They're figuring out a way to control this parking via access. In other words, card in and card out. And when you card in, not to get into too much of their security, uh, you would be, be able to be on camera and they would know who you are. When you use an access card, it would bring up who you are in their main headquarters, which is here. Now all of this is tied in via access card system. This entire eight block area is not only communicating via camera, but access card, uh, Wi-Fi, and who knows, and dare I say underground tunnels. In my dream it was. And the tunnels went all the way to, guess where, jail. The tunnels went from there to the jail. And look what's just north of that. What in my dream was building a bigger jail. Looks like I'm about run out of time. I believe in the future 
that all of this will be become some type of detention center. They don't care about if you got a hazmat or not. So let's go into my dream now that you have a layout of the area. Everybody cool with that?